Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. I've got another unboxing for you today. And uh, this is not an instrument, it is an accessory. And I think it was last week I posted that video of the a dozen musical gadgets under $60. And this is the type of thing that would have fit perfectly on that list. You know, timing is great. But uh, this should be one of the Okio pop filters. So let's get it open here. Voila, there she is. All right, so there is the box. Again, this is one of the Okio pop filters. And this is designed to limit the, um, you know, when you're talking into a microphone, your, your P's and your S's and your T's and your D's uh, tend to make kind of a popping or a hissing sound. And this is designed to reduce that. So you may have seen filters like this that clip on the mic stand here and then they have sort of a gooseneck so you can position it in front of the microphone. And these work great, these are really nice. Um, but they're kind of big and bulky and heavy and sometimes they don't want to position right on the mic stand and sometimes you can't get the angle just perfect. Um, but generally speaking, these work pretty darn well. Well, this is basically the same thing, but it's just a lot smaller and more portable. So I'd like to try it out and see if it works. Um, but first, let's get the box open. By the way, I've wanted one of these for quite some time. These are about 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, this is again the Okio brand, but there are a couple other similars and other brands. So we open it, we get a thank you for purchasing card. Looks like it's got the warranty on the back. And that's, by the way, that's not paper. That's like, that's like a heavy plastic or something. And then the filter. So let's go ahead and pull that out and that's it. And okay. So if you look here, these are kind of rubber, some sort of rubber uh, kind of retainers. And then you've got the pop screen right here. So this goes over the top of your microphone and uh, then that's what these rubber things should hold it in place. And because they're stretchy, they should allow a fairly decent sized microphone. So let's see if it fits my uh, Audio-Technica. Okay, one thing to notice here, if you look, this is clo the, uh, this piece of rubber is closer to the bottom and this one's got a little more gap. So depending on how your microphone is situated, you could probably put it on either way. Now here is my AT2020 and seeing that it has this little part at the top, we're probably gonna wanna put it on this way. Although, yeah, that looks closer. Yeah, that's probably better. So let's go ahead and try. So just put those rubber straps behind the, uh, the little metal parts of the microphone here. Oh, wow, that actually fits really well. Look at that. So that seems like it was kind of made for this microphone. It actually fits really, really well. So I guess the next thing to do is to test it out and see what it sounds like. Now guys, as I mentioned before, your P's, your S's, your T's, your D's are really the, the kind of places where something like this um, helps you out. And so previous to open this, I was like, okay, what can I say to kind of put this together? And I'm going to steal a line from an eighties hip hop song. So if you're into eighties rap music, you might recognize this, but it's Peter Piper pick peppers, but run rock rhymes, Humpty Dumpty fell down. That's his hard time. So it's got lots of D's and T's and P's in there that should give us. So that's the phrase I'm going to say, and I'm going to try it without the pop screen and with the pop screen. And we'll see if there's any difference. Peter Piper picked peppers, but run rock rhymes. Humpty Dumpty fell down. That's his hard time. Peter Piper picked peppers, but run rock rhymes. Humpty Dumpty fell down. That's his hard time. So there we go. That was an unboxing and demo of the Okio B7 pop filter. And uh, you saw the demo, so you can see if you think it's worth it. But these are fairly inexpensive, about 10 bucks on Amazon and other places. And uh, check it out if you like one. There you go. Guys, if you like what I do on this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. I'll see you in the next episode.